hello lovely people i welcome you to today's episode yes and i welcome you to truest kitchen it's been a while since i posted this video i'm coming to do is much 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 requested video anyway i hope you are all doing good by the grace of god as i said this video is requested video by some subscribers and families as well as well in fact i already have this video on this same channel but it's my local dialect which is three i come from ghana and that video is in ghanaian language so now i'm going to do it in english but before i start don't forget to subscribe share subscribe oh, share oh, like and also comment dear comment baby because henceforth everything is going to be in english which we have started already now let me walk you through the ingredients that's maize soya bean rice black eye bean wheat and then roasted peanut in fact i didn't go to the market myself so the person who went bought roasted peanut instead of fresh but anyway we can still use it because even when i bring it home I still have to roast it let me measure the maize for you to see this is six cups of maize I'm using ml size so 500 ml is one cup in Ghana 500 ml is five is one cup in Ghana so that is what I'm using this is the third one fourth one fifth and then sixth and let me remind you of one thing you can use any cup you want to you can use any cup it doesn't necessarily mean measuring cup or 5 ml but just that the cup you use in measuring the maize should be the same cup you use to measure the other cereals that's one thing you should take note of okay you can use more soya bean if you are preparing this for a toddler and also beans you can use more and the soya bean is served as milk so we don't fry it it is served as milk don't fry the soya bean now let's start i'm going to use my cooker to fry this because i i need to sit down and stay it i can't be standing on the stove so i decided to use the cold pot outside and do this please preheat your saucepan and start with any of them so i'm starting with the maize i'm going to divide this maize into two guys i'm going to fry this until it's brown brown it shouldn't be darker brown though and make sure it doesn't burn else the taste of your tom brown will change it will totally change okay so make sure you don't burn it then it goes the second bite I want to be done now. Hope you can see it clear. In fact, I really forgot. I should have introduced this to you as well. I'll be adding ginger, which I will fry as well. So, I'll be frying this one as well. This ginger will give this nice flavor. My black eye bean is next. As I said, the ginger is going to give it very nice flavor, very, very nice flavor. So try and add ginger to it and you are going to love it. The beans is ready now. You see, I didn't burn it. Make sure it doesn't burn. It will only change in color, like kind of, the beans is already cream, you know. So please, mm. when roasting beans, the beans shouldn't be brown as well, but just that it will change in color. You see that there has been some changes all right but it shouldn't be totally brown okay okay let's go in the wheat and as you know being a wheat is already brown okay but it will still change in color but make sure as i always say make sure you don't burn it but one thing you notice is that the color has changed it will be a bit darker brown you see a bit darker brown but it shouldn't burn you see as you can see here it's changed it's changed in color even though it's the same brown but there has been difference hope you can see that 
Mm -hmm. You can see that. You can see. If you burn it, the taste will change. You not get the flavor you're supposed to get. Okay, let's continue with the rice. Mm -hmm. Rice is also white. Rice is white and the rice shouldn't be brown but it will change somehow cream when it, you are starting to um, fry rice you see that it will be very white for some minutes to be turned very white then you see that it will be changing a bit a bit but it still be white but no it but not too white you see it will definitely change in color then finally finally the ginger itself the ginger itself this ginger has been washed and cut into pieces i'll fry it as well and add it i didn't fry the soya bean and also the peanuts because the peanut is roasted or fried already okay ginger is ready you can see I hope you can see that very dry 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 mm -hmm. now the next thing to do the next thing to forgive me it's late so the camera is not that sharp if you can see it very well forgive me okay now i'm about to add all the ingredients all the cereals as you can see mm -hmm rice beans my wheat finally the peanuts mm -hmm. that's the peanuts okay it's left it one which is the soya bean soya bean but yes yes i'll not add the soya bean now because i want all those ones to cool down before i add the soya bean it's late so i'm not taking this to the corn miller today i will take it tomorrow morning when i'm about when i'm about to go i'll just add the soya bean and take it i wish i can take a video from the corn miller but i wouldn't be going myself i'm sorry about that so when you are done the next thing to do is just take into any corn miller in your area for them to grind it for you please make sure they grind it four times or five times it shouldn't be less than four times else you not get smooth from brown from brown is sweeter when it's very very smooth and well blended or well grinded that makes it more sweet and also very very tasty i'm telling you the truth you can use all the ingredients in the world but if it doesn't grind well i promise you my dear trust me you are not going to enjoy it at all so the next morning i'm adding the soya bean then my sister will take it to the corn miller Please, if you um, grind it the same day, make sure it cools down before you take it to the machine. Don't take it there very hot or hot as well. You have to wait for it to cool down before you take it to the machine or the corn miller to work on it for you. Finally, finally, it's about to go down. In fact, I took this um, video at night, so I think get it right but it still look good 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 and i hope yours is going to come out like this you are going to enjoy it with your family please invite me when you prepare this okay invite me i think i need to prepare one and do a video on it for you guys to see how the porridge will come out yes i need to do that i'll do that one of these days thank you for watching dear people and also subscribe love you bye, bye.